highly anticipated Senate hearing on the attack on the Capitol. The Homeland Security and Rules Committees will hold a joint hearing with law enforcement officials in an attempt to learn more about what went wrong on January 6th. Our team of correspondents is here to give us a preview of this hearing. Ken Delanian covers national security. Leanne Caldwell covers Congress. Good morning to both of you. Ken, I'll start with you and who we are expecting to hear from today to help understand why officials weren't better prepared. What insight could they provide and who's going to testify? Good morning, Savannah. Well, this is a joint Senate hearing of the Homeland Security Committee and the Rules and Administration Committee, which is in charge of the Capitol complex. And we're going to hear from four key witnesses, two of whom have not spoken publicly about their roles. And that's House Sergeant at Arms Paul Irving, former House Sergeant at Arms, and former Senate Sergeant at Arms Michael Stanger. Both of those men, former Secret Service agents, were forced out of their jobs after the Capitol riots amid allegations they didn't act swiftly enough to call in help. And lawmakers have said the key questions they're going to ask these witnesses, by the way, we're also going to hear from the former Capitol Police Chief, Stephen Sun, and Robert Conti, the chief of the D.C. police. And the key questions really are, what, why was the security so unprepared for that onslaught of people when we all saw on social media um, that th there was violence planned for the Capitol? What intelligence was shared? Who knew what when? That's one big question. The second question, of course, is why did it take so long for help to arrive? Was there a delay in calling in the National Guard? And what role did any of these four officials play in that delay? So those are the big questions that lawmakers want answers to today, Savannah. And Leanne, given that this is a joint hearing, there's those two committees, the Rules Committee, the Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs Committee. There's going to be a lot of senators hoping to ask questions, a group of over 30. What are they going to be focusing on today? Well, Savannah, that's absolutely right. And you heard from the uh, chair of the Homeland, or excuse me, the ranking member of the Homeland Security Hearing uh, Committee, Ron Port, Rob Portman, who told our colleague last night, he's a Republican, that if you did pay attention to the news leading up to this hearing, or to January 6th, then in fact, it was clear that there was violence that was expected. So you can expect questions like that from some senators. But then on these committees, you also have people like Senator Ron Johnson, who just last week said the armed insurrection was, in fact, not really an armed insurrection. And then you have Senators Josh Hawley and Ted Cruz, who have been blamed for what has been called a, a, an outsized role leading up into this because of their um, opposition, their vocal opposition to the counting of the electoral votes. So while there are going to be members who do want questions answered, I am going to be watching for the senators and to see what sort of posture they take and if they they believe what these um, these witnesses are saying or if they try to lead them down a completely different narrative that deflects blame away from the former president and from the support, his supporters who did storm the Capitol, Savannah. And now, Ken, Judge Merrick Garland, President Biden's pick for attorney general, has pledged to make an investigation into the Capitol insurrection his top priority if he is, in fact, confirmed to that position. More than 250 people have been charged so far. So what would that investigation entail? Yes, yeah, Savannah, Judge Garland said that uh, this is going to be his most important investigation. And he also said that the domestic terrorism risk in the United States is higher than at any time since the 1995 bombing of the federal building in Oklahoma City, the investigation of which he led at the time as a prosecutor in the Justice Department. Um, and so what we have here in this investigation is, is a picture of sort of two groups of people. There are these far-right militia extremists who clearly, according to the government, were bent on violence and did, did advanced planning and wanted to assault the Capitol and wanted to overthrow the government. Um, that's a smaller group. And then there's a larger group of people who were caught up in the riot and are simply charged with unlawful entry and related charges. And so the government is grappling with how to deal with both of these groups. But And this is an ever more complex and sprawling investigation, one of the biggest in years. Um, but we still don't have charges in the deaths of uh, Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick, and they haven't figured out who planted the bombs outside mm. the Republican and Democratic National Committee. So a lot left to learn, Savannah. And Leanne, in addition to those investigations that Ken just mentioned there, this is just the first in a series of hearings we expect to see in Congress on the riot, not to mention the 9-11 style commission House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is pushing for. What do we know so far about the rest of the hearings? How will this play out? 
Well, this committee, the Senate Homeland Security Committee, has said that they want to talk to intelligence agencies and a much broader swath of people who uh, in the lead up, who had a role in the lead up to January 6th. And then on Thursday as well, the House of Representatives is holding a hearing on the current uh, security officials who are in place. Think of this hearing as the ones who were in place and leading these agencies January 6th. On Thursday, we're going to hear from the ones who are current in place. And then we could expect these hearings and investigations to continue until so there are some clear answers and explanations into what happened, Savannah. Leanne and Ken, thank you so much. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.